this is our 7760 picker. Uh, we just about do a bit of a clean down on it before the pre-season. So it'll stop the spread of disease, mealybug and whatever. Um, so we'll show you a few spots to start looking and keep an eye on. At the front here we have the nose cones which you get trash in underneath. You have your front doors in behind your doors around your spindles, your moisture towers in between and in behind the moisture pad, your back drum. You got your doffers in around them, into your spindles and your back moisture towers. Behind your bars inside your carousel, there's also a lot of trash builds up in here. And the chutes that go out the back as well. Now I drop the back of these chutes to make sure that you can get in and blow all the rubbish out from inside the heads. And up here we have the locks to lock the heads up so if you're going to crawl underneath them make sure your locks are in for safety. In underneath your machine at the back of the heads where the chutes go up the trash sits in behind them. On top of your axles your final drives and inside your rims here. Next area I'd look at would be in here with the rotary screen. Just open it up it opens right out, you can have a good look in there and it's easy to get to. So then if you get into the next section as well. And you can get in there and give that all a clean, that's your radiators and stuff. More hidey holes in here on your engine bay. You take these covers off, you can get inside the engine bay quite easily. Drop your belly plates and you can get in there and clean, uh, give it a bit of a squirt. Similar to the other side, you've got a few little uh, places where trash sits. Uh, in around here, around your hydraulic motors, on your, mud, on your mud scrapers, and even in our case, we have a little toolbox on here, and it's quite often full of trash. But again, you can drop your belly plates. It's a good idea to check it. In behind this hazard sign here, around the hydraulic motors, around the rear axles, and in your uh, steering knuckles. Also, your handler. It's up in the air, so you tend to forget about it, but it does come down when you drop your modules, so it's in contact with the ground and the bushes as well. We're up on the platform now. The other spots to look is in front of your feeder belt and in behind the cab between the water tank and the fuel tank. When you're coming up the top, being careful to make sure you use all your safety steps. Don't stand on these fins as they will not support your body weight. And make sure you stick to the steps and hang onto the handles for your own safety. Now, this area does accumulate a fair bit of trash, so make sure it's always clean. It's really not that hard to get into them. You just roll your heads across and lock them back into position. There we go, ready for work again. Hopefully this has given you an idea of the places to check, whether the machine, you're cleaning it yourself or it's coming onto your property. Uh, stick to the policy, come clean, go clean, and it's worked well for us.